Dear colleagues from California, if you're practicing within our beautiful state, know that you have the Guide Dental Institute, a world-class training and education institute for over 20 years here in Los Angeles, where we can help you to advance your care for your patients in the field of implants and aesthetics to a level that you can become predictable, efficient, and have long-term results and prevent many of those complications that can happen with implants. I'm here today to invite you and to introduce to you my four-day advanced tissue regeneration and implant placement program. In these four days, I'm doing a deep dive into what I've learned over many years of treating patients and treating patients today who are basically missing tissues that we need for implants. So the first two days of this program, I'm going really deep into the field of guided bone regeneration. Again, I was fortunate to start this field like in the early 90s, publish many papers during the 90s in vertical ridge augmentation, horizontal ridge augmentation. And all these like, you know, different parts of this area, like in biomaterial choices, which membranes to use, which bone grafts to use, should we use autogenous bone? Should we use like any kind of biomaterials? Should we use fixation devices like screws or tacks, 10 screws? How do we harvest autogenous bone in the most atraumatic way from patients? And how do we increase really like the most amount of growth factors so that the wound healing can really go well? In the soft tissue part of this program, it's one area which is really, really specific, which crosses from bone grafting to soft tissue grafting is the release of the soft tissue flap. So this is one part of the soft tissue course. The second part of the soft tissue course is of course like how do we actually improve the quality of the long-term implant restoration and implant longevity. And this is of course the quality of soft tissue, the keratinization. The last part of the program is really into the posterior maxilla. Many times we lose of course the posterior ridge, so that means a vertical ridge augmentation procedure and then many times we have this preliminarization of the sinus, so we need to do a sinus lift procedure. And then, as a final touch of these four days, I share with you, again, like my long-term experience with peri-implantitis. I hope to see you there, and please take advantage of it, because it will definitely improve your implant care and the patient's satisfactions with your work.